Вітаю, пані та панове. This is Ukrainian Spirit and we continue our journey into the world of craft Ukrainian alcohol. Today we are in the beautiful Carpathian mountains or as we call them here in Ukraine, Karpaty, and we also continue to look at the craft distillery which is called Genio Tabokulaka, which comes from the Kyiv region, the capital region of Ukraine, and today's drink is a triple distilled craft beer. Very interesting, so kind of biscuit. Let's find out more, shall we? So, as I said before in the previous videos, uh, Genia Tavov Kulaka is founded supposedly by a man by the name Genio and his friend Professor, who is also werewolf, <laughs> who was turned uh, to werewolf when a professor was bitten by a wolf and only drinks made by Genya made him a man again. <laughs> so, interesting story, but uh, let's find out what today, today's drink brings us. Uh, so, this is a kind of whiskey, I suppose, because as they say, it's a 35 to 40% alcohol by volume triple distilled beer, crop beer, which is very important. So, let's see, it's, it has brownish color and we know, I hope, everybody knows that the distillates do not have any color. Maybe slight tint, but usually they don't. So, any color is an artificial coloring. It might come from natural sources, but it's artificial in a sense that it doesn't come with the actual distillate. So, it is either a caramel or some kind of juice. It doesn't smell like beer, of course. <laughs> it also doesn't smell like whiskey, it smells like medicine. And uh, I see this is a continuing story here. Everything, single drink here is a little bit medicinal medicinal in a sense herbal so this one smells like cough medicine from 20th century so sweet uh, bitter uh, like like uh, lacrisse smells really nice uh, but i don't get any whiskey any beer anything like that any grain only sweetness from herbs, medicine, uh, maybe some kind of juice, some kind of caramel. Let's taste it. Mm. So, it's much stronger than I anticipated. Mm. And actually, now, in a taste, I can almost uh, feel a little bit of beer It's uh, it's an interesting smell and interesting taste completely Separated from each other. So when you smell one thing and then when you drink it, it's completely other thing It's a little bit like whiskey um, Particularly um, Irish whiskey I would say maybe uh, see, since it's uh, triple distilled, it could be Bushmills, um, like like young Bushmills maybe. Uh, but of course, it has lots of medicine and a little bit sweetness in it. Um, well, I said lots of medicine, but actually not lots of medicine. A little bit of medicine. It's a little bit bitter, a little bit... Um, tangy uh, tannins maybe but i'm not sure if it spent some time in in the cask in wood um it doesn't say anything here this is the label so it's not like your typical whiskey it's bitter and whiskey if it if whiskey gets bitter it's a bad whiskey right but here they added something um, some kind of herb, maybe caramel, maybe it was, it spent some time in wood, 
but I'm not sure about that. It's a pleasant drink, but it, it's hard to understand what it is. So when you're drinking it, you're focused on trying to get it in your frames or frame of reference. <laughs> And you're trying to understand whether it's a whiskey or a bitter or a balsam or whatever. And it's something in between. Uh, but I like it. Um, so of these three, uh, my favorite would be pure gin. I tend to like some something that is pure in smell and in taste and it has one particular thing that it does really well and this one is particularly good gin unusual a bit fruity a bit medicinal but amazing gin so five stars to this one those are great drinks amazing drinks this one is a gin with nice black currant taste and even better black currant aroma this one is kind of whiskey with herbs with medicine uh, really really nice tangy tangy pleasant perfect for sipping all three of those i believe all three would shine in cocktails so genio tabof kulaka i'm gonna review more of that later so as usual, Bojmoa!